Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsime.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsime.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look at the Bitcoin market, so we haven't taken a look since Monday because actually as you can see Bitcoin doesn't show any significant changes here. So on the daily chart we're mostly watching for the same pattern, the head and shoulders, reverse head and shoulders pattern which should clarify the further direction in the medium term. So failure of the market right around right arm, it's 80 even, could lead to the moving down and taking out of these lows. So that will be a decisive point. While holding here, we'll open road to the highest ending targets and, for example, 13 even on the weekly chart. So that's how a COP, if you remember, on the weekly chart. So currently, we just need to wait and see what will happen around this area when the market will hit it. On the daily chart, guys, currently, we think that this stop is a temporal, just to the reaching of some intraday targets. And on the daily, for example, we also could keep an eye on the bearish grabbers. While this retracement could be slightly higher, Market will form the bearish grabber, which suggests taking out these lows. That will be the confirmation that market will drop lower. So that's the one of the things that you could keep an eye on the daily. What we have on intraday charts? On the intraday charts, there are few scenarios are possible. On the forward FM chart, that is the first scenario when the market could form a bit deeper retracement in the shape of the A, B, C, D pattern, moving to the 9380 area approximately. That's actually, by the way, the 618 resistance of this downside action. So that's it's possible here. It's upside scenario. That's what I've talked about on the daily. If market will just continue more slightly higher on the daily, the market could form here the bearish grabber, for example, when the target of the hand draws will be completed. Or, since, guys, this is actually former confidence level, it has been broken by the market. Now market is coming to retest it. So, uh, it's also possible that we do not we will not see any upward breakout, upward continuation, but the market could turn down immediately. Because our XOP stands 80, 20 area. It's also major 618 support as we have estimated on the daily chart. And here's guys was really strong sell off. So XOP probably will be hit. And that could happen in the shape of the butterfly patient. So if market will not break this confidence resistance that we have on the daily, so if you remember last week we already talked about it. We have the confidence resistance level, and that was the target of our retracement. We said keep an eye on the market, probably will reach this level as a retracement, but we'd not expect that will be major reversal. Indeed, it's too choppy price action here, mostly carries the shapes of the retracement. It's confidence resistance of the whole downward action, and market could turn down immediately. In this case, we could get not the butterfly, but, uh, sorry, not the hand shoulders, but the butterfly with the 1618, approximately 1840 which finalizes as XOP, as reaching of the major support on the daily chart. If you're trading on very short term charts, how you could use the situation? First of all, if you would like to take the long position, the point is that the hand shoulders is already in place. And you, if you do not have the position right from here, or from the bottom of the right arm, in this case, you probably could use stop buy order above this confidence. Because if market will break it up, it will open the free road to the upside and somewhere to 8250, 8350 area. This will be potential destination point. Not very big profit potential, but well, that's what we have by this patient. Conversely, if you would like to take the short position with the downward continuation to the XOP, you could use the same shape but in opposite direction to, to focus on the failure of this patient. For example, you could use the stop entry order below the B points. If market will suddenly turn down, break the B point to the downside, that will be the challenge on the possible downward continuation. And in this case, chances on the downward continuation will be stronger than, than now. So that's the two, two, two st possible scenarios for a very short term perspective. On the high time frame on the daily, as we said, we're just keep watching when the market will hit this level. As soon as we will get the bullish reversal patient, we could try to take the long position because some at least minor technical pullback here should happen and we will get the chance to move stops to the break even. Well, the failure here and breakout of this level t will tell us that market steps on the bearish road and 
we will consider breaking of these laws.